Now, we ha actually have special notation that tells us that we want to take the antiderivative of something. And this notation is called the indefinite integral. So often we'll just say, oh, you're taking the integral of that. So the indefinite integral of f of x is the collection of all antiderivatives of f of x. And you can think of this like the most general antiderivative. And that's why we added that plus c. So the notation is it's this long s of your function, and then the d of x tells you what function you're, or what variable you're integrating with respect to. We're only going to have one variable, so that will always just match the variable you have in your function in this class. So this is the integral symbol. This is the function you're integrating. So we call that the integrand. And then the dx just tells you your variable of integration. Okay, so when we want to evaluate that, we're going to find the antiderivative of our function and we'll put a plus c at the end. So we have x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x plus 3. So the antiderivative would be x to the fourth over 4 plus 3x cubed over 3 minus 5x squared over 2 plus 3x plus c. And the only thing we can do to simplify it is divide out our 3's. So our final answer here would be x to the fourth over 4 plus x cubed minus 5x squared over 2 plus 3x plus c. So when you see that symbol, it means we're taking the antiderivative.